Hey, I'm just going to show you the uh, fig tree. So I've showed the other video of it in wintertime in its insulated box. This is it at the end of summer. Today is September 16th, 2020. Um, so it's been a hot, dry year. So July was really hot and dry. August has been uh, quite a bit wetter, a little bit cooler. Uh, so it's been a pretty good year for figs. They really like that heat. This tree is five years old. It's been in the, in the ground here for five years. I planted it in 2015. First three years, we um, I dug a trench here in this in this garden bed and buried it probably a, a foot deep, and then piled dirt up on top of that as well too, and covered it with a tarp. That worked okay, but the tree got big, and uh, it was a lot of work to uh, cut the roots off on one side and then to uh, tip it over. So. For two years in a row now, I've built a, a wooden plywood box around it. It's insulated. It's got a 100 watt light bulb in it. When it hits, I think the settings are when it hits minus five Celsius, the light bulb kicks on until it gets to minus one Celsius, and that kicks off. So it keeps it just freezing. Anyways, uh, so I think it's kept to five feet tall in that box. You can see it's it's gotten quite a bit bigger than that. Now it's probably seven feet tall. And it's gotten a lot bushier. This is Chicago Hardy. It's, we're going to show the uh, the ripening fruit. This is a little bit normal than most years for me. It's probably because we had that hot, dry year. But um, you can see the Chicago Hardy figs are quite large. This bush is actually loaded in figs. There's hundreds and hundreds of figs everywhere. Most of them are still small and green, and then they they start to swell by the end when they're getting close to being ready. So yeah, no problems growing these in Canada. Zone zone 5 here uh, with that winter protection. I think I understand too that they, they will survive if you just mulch the base around the root stem there. They'll survive. All these branches will die off and um, but the roots will survive and, and grow back up. And uh, I know it does grow back real fast, like it'll get to six feet tall again by the, the end of the year. But I'm not sure that leaves us enough season to grow and ripen these figs. So if you can overwinter the branches here and save all the, the tree buds, the leaf buds, um, there's lots of time for them to ripen. So we probably still have uh, at least another month of... of um, frost free growing season so a lot of these other green ones here are, are going to ripen we've got time if it stays reasonably warm there's lots of big purple ones on here and some of them are really soft and they'll be ready for for eating today we can actually take a look at one of these yeah they rip off easy it's a huge fruit nice and pink inside so that'll That'll be good. Okay, let's look at the uh, the fig tree.